Well, Hurricane Sally delayed the return to in-class learning for Mobile County Public Schools. But after two weeks, the state's largest school system will begin phasing students back into the classroom Monday. Our Lee Peck standing by with that update and Lee, virtual learning also still on the table. It is Shelby, but parents need to make a decision soon about what they plan to do with their kids so the schools can uh, prepare for the students who will be returning during the pandemic. Oh, when it comes to returning to the classroom, Mobile County Public Schools is stressing choice to parents and students. Our families have a choice. If they want to stick to the remote learning, they can do that. But if they want to come in for the in-person learning, they can come in and uh, school will look different, but they will still get that in-person instruction from their teachers. As you go down, gravity. With Hurricane Sally in the rearview mirror, Mobile County will start with special needs students. Up to 500 can return on Monday. Of those, more than 250 go here to Augusta Evans Middle School. Yeah, I'm so excited to see them. We've been doing a lot of virtual um, meetings with them, and that's been great, but it's going to be great to see them in person. Katie Johnston teaches special education at Augusta Evans. At this point, she expects to have seven students in person and two remaining virtual and says she already has her game plan. My plan is to have my paraprofessionals and I working with those um, students that are in person while also trying to support those um, virtual learners. So I'm going to kind of have one that works specifically with the virtual learners and then we're going to switch back and forth. So we're going to kind of work as a team to kind of make sure all of those um, students get the learning that they need. Over the next four weeks, all grades will phase back in by October 19th. The new norms already in place, socially distanced desks as well as increased cleanings. We are requiring face masks or coverings for anyone who is second grade or older, and we are strongly recommending them for students who are in pre-K, kindergarten, and first grade. Maybe eating some meals in our classroom so that we're not in the hallways as often, the restroom procedures will change, but we're still going to be getting that instruction from our teachers. Now we've posted a list of when each grade will be returning to in person classrooms. Uh, meanwhile, teachers contacting parents this week to see what they plan to do with their students. The deadline to make a decision is next Friday, October 2nd. Live in Mobile, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.